golden jubilee. Back in the autumn, a spider had found a warm corner underneath the signal box of the junction. She had woven a web, pointed at one end, and shaped like a funnel. And for a while, she lived very well in what she had caught in it. Now it was spring. The spider had moved on. She knew nothing about the preparations for the golden jubilee. It's going to be a disaster, remarked Henry gloomily. Important people, a special train, and nothing for them to see. Oh, you old misery, said Donald. Look in the bright side, there's a week to go yet. I'm sure it'll be all right, put in Daisy. She'd been shy about living in the big shed at first, but was getting used to it now. Of course it will, agreed Duck. Have you ever known the Fat Controller's plans to go wrong? No, admitted James. I've never known that. The other engines agreed. Except Henry. There's always a first time, he muttered darkly. <laughs> By the time the Jubilee Day arrived, Edward's wheel and Thomas's branch line were both mended. The fact controller told Edward he was to run ahead of the special train to make sure that the line was clear. Does that mean? Excitedly. It is seen. Crowds began to gather at the big station. There was to be a red carpet, speeches, and a special luncheon for the visitors. Last time we had a red carpet, the Queen came. As the train drew to a halt, Emma grinned happily at Edward. You've got your four lamps arranged? She asked. Off you go then. We'll follow in a few minutes. At the junction, a breeze blew into the room beneath the signal box. It wafted the old spider's web between two electrical contacts. At once, everything in the signal box stopped working. Signal went to danger. Points couldn't be moved. Now what? exclaimed the signal. It's a royal train due in five minutes. Edward stopped and turned the signal on. Thomas, Percy, Toby, and Mavis were waiting. The electrics are dead, the signalman told Edward's driver. We shall have to flag you all through, but it will take time. You must go first, and then the royal. Carefully, men with flags sent the engines on their way. Edward went first with a letter for the back controller, telling him what had happened. Pip and Ember went next. Finally, Thomas and the branch line engines were allowed through. At the big station, the crowd was now enormous. The fact that the was being patiently at his watch. Lord and Henry and James had got the best place in the platform. We should see everything from here, said James Hadroy. There's anything to see, grumbled Henry. Just then they heard a whistle. That's it, Wood! Is that a wasted journey? Lord Henry. We know Lord and Wood wrong. Him and Emma soon drew in. And onto the red carpet stood the royal personage. I apologise for the delay, sir. Then introduced the royal visitor to each of the engines. I heard about you all after the Queen came here many years ago, he told them. I am delighted to meet you for myself. The engines whistled loud and long. Grin. 
covered his ears. The Queen was right. Your railway and your engines are a 